SBW High School Playbook Blitz. the back row jump up that was good welcome week three high school playbook blitz 20 area high schools in action tonight more non-league games on the schedule and we're going to begin uh, the palma school team looking to go three and zero on the season palma home at rabble bank stadium tonight against willow glenn of san jose willow glenn on offense here and they couldn't do anything tonight they beat saratoga last week beat them bad but tonight all chieftains Joe Caldwell with the play right there. Palma's defense was suffocating tonight. Will again had trouble running the pass, and Nico Maldonado, quarterback sack here, fake field goal, turns into an interception for Palma. Brad Caraccioli picks it off. Caraccioli, interception for Palma. Palma's first score of the night coming through the air. Jack Richardson, fine quarterback. Perfect pass, Marcus Cannon, touchdown. Chieftains right there. Wow, and the next time they got the ball, they would score again. 22-yard touchdown run by their top ground gainer. Well, there's a cannon touchdown. Was I on there? Did I show that twice? I showed that play twice. We liked it so much. Oh, here's another touchdown. <laughs> Jack Richardson, this time hands it to Emilio Martinez. He's into the end zone. Touchdown right there. Bottom line, Palmer goes on to win at 35-6. to They're 3-0. and Great start for Palmer next Friday night. Palmer. Doubles to Palo Alto. Aptos High tonight. Aptos, yeah, the Mariners from Aptos High at Dilfer Stadium against the Watsonville Wildcats. Kyle Marks of Aptos. Takes the ball. Nice looking play. Gone. 20-yard touchdown run right there for the Aptos High Mariners. Kyle Marks. Nice pass and catch combo here for Watsonville, but then solid defense. Elhan Manak. Mac I knew I'd mess that name up. Nice play there, Elhan. Aptos looking to remain unbeaten on the season. Watsonville looking for their second win after beating Santa Cruz. No way. This one got out of hand, way out of hand in the second half. 56 to nothing. There's Aptos. Yeah, they're not going to let Watsonville do anything on offense. Aptos dominates 56 to nothing. Now let's check out those Santa Cruz High Cardinals. Santa Cruz playing Irvington from Fremont. This game played at SoCal because Santa Cruz field still unplayable. SoCal, nice field. Santa Cruz high in the maroon uniforms. Lane Davis pass to Jim Reitzman. Nice catch and then a great game after they've taken a hit. Good job, Gleitzman. Gleitzman on the end of round. This looked like it would go and then it, it didn't go. But just about everything else did for Santa Cruz tonight. Everything else goes for the Santa Cruz High Cardinal representative again, and they are winning 31 to 14 the final on this one. Next Friday, Santa Cruz will be at Robble Bank Stadium in Salinas to take on the North Salinas High School Vikings. Hit and down. All right, Watsonville Mustangs, the Monte Vista Christian Mustangs of Watsonville taking on Soledad footballs. Let's footballs. We like to get them out the fans. It's only the second time these teams have ever played each other. Right here, great. Catch. So that's Eric Martinez pulling it in. Then on the quarterback keeper, Fernando Longoria dives in. Touchdown. Aztecs of Soledad. Then some Soledad defense. Nice defense. Quarterback sack, Robert Lopez. But it would be uh, the Mustang, the Monte Vista Christian, who came back to win this game despite efforts like that by Enrique Pacheco. And it's a win for Monte Vista Christian, 13 to 9. Our next stop tonight, Alisal High in Salinas. It's been on the Monte Vista Christian highlights. Alisal home against King City. Both these teams looking for their first win of the season. King City in white, Alisal the traditional game. Defensive battle. Rugged. Jacob Flores right here. Hooking up with Dominic Rose. Big game for the King City Mustangs right there. Later, the Mustangs come up with a defensive play. Nathan Seriano interception. Sir, Serrano. Serrano with the interception. Nice punt return here by Junior Romero of Alice But bottom line, for the first time in nearly 20 years, King City is your winner. First time in nearly 20 years they've beaten Alice Elba, that is. 20 to 12. Now let's go to the Greenfield Bruins home. 
They're taking on the North Monterey County Condors. Condors play so many games on Saturday. Don't get to see enough of North County on Friday night. How about a nice punt return here? It's Bobby Tovar of the North Monterey County Canada. Condors. And Bobby Tovar, number 25. Slick return here. 42 yards on the play. Great effort here. Tovar then would finish the job and take it in for six. The North Monterey County quarterback. I don't know if I'm going to get this right. Is the name Deckerson? I hope it is because he made a nice move there. And Deckerson down to the two. He's scoring the next play. It's Tobar again. Another touchdown. 27 to 2 is the final. North County over Greenfield. Now let's head just a few miles north of Gonzalez. Big Force Stadium. There's the Gonzalez High. Cheerleaders. Zoom out. I want to see Dick Force Stadium, Gonzalez, California. Gonzalez against St. Francis of Watsonville, better known as St. Francis of Coast Catholic. Got a pitch out. Touchdown. Logan Gomez going in for a second. This is the first time these teams have ever played each other. Then a really nice effort by Christian Harrigan, the Gonzalez quarterback. 25 yards out, and he goes in for another score. The Gonzalez defense, this is all Gonzalez tonight. The Sharks of St. Francis got drilled. Brian Rosas. Interception, Brian Rosas for Gonzalez High. Total domination. And then a touchdown. Ryan Avila takes it in. 55 to 9 is the final here tonight from Gonzalez High. Our next stop tonight, Gilroy High. Yeah, Gilroy Mustang. Oh, look at that. Wild Mustang. The new grandstands at Jeff Garcia Stadium. Last year, those grandstands were closed, weren't they? Yeah, they got new grandstands. Let's put some more people in there. Half Moon Bay, the opponent. I guess they're not a big draw. But they score here. Matt Spiegelman of Half Moon Bay takes it in for six right here. Not a great night for Gilroy, but a great catch right here. Ryan, Riley Police Holler. Nice catch. Then it's David Munoz ho hooking up with the same guy. Number three, Felice Holler. This is perfect passing catch. I'm open. You put it there. I got it. Touchdown. That would be it for Gilroy, though. I wish they could have done more. They did 43 to 6 half Moon Bay over Gilroy. Let's take to Gilroy home again next Friday night. We'll open up the league play the following. Seaside Spartan. It's a down year for Seaside. Let's, let's face it. It's not the best team they've had. But this, this will happen. Tonight facing Wilcox of San Jose. These teams played last year and it went to overtime. Not tonight. The Wilcox on the move. Short touchdown run by Wilcox right here. And then the next time the visitors from the San Jose area had the ball, they would, they would take it in again. Wilcox on the move all night. Seaside struggling and looking for the first win of the year. 41-6 to the final. Next Friday night, Seaside plays at Soquel. Now let's go. Colorado Valley taking on the Marina Mariners at Monterey Peninsula College. Marina looking to get on the scoreboard after being shut out two weeks in a row. And they do, right here. Pick up the fumble. Xavier Schwinner of the Mariners picks it up. 89 yards for the first points of the season for the Marina Mariners. And thus far, that's the only points of the season for Marina High. But they're having this is good. Paul Robala comes back to win it. Big gainer, Rodrigo Jimenez, hauls in the pass right there. And that would lead to a short touchdown run for the Slow developing play here, but it works for a touchdown. Yeah, well, maybe that's the way they want it to be. Touchdown. Ivan Laura takes it in. The Grizzlies are 3 and 1 on this season with a 7 6 win. Good start for Paro. Other games tonight played out of the area. Monterey all over. Kennedy of Richmond. 50 zip. Monterey's unbeaten. Alvarez also unbeaten. They outscored Menlo by 30. Hollister Haybed is lose to Los Gatos. Baylor's lose 35-14. Salinas High, they were beaten by Sacred Heart Prep. Salinas went, led the whole way, but Sacred Heart Prep scores with just nine seconds to go in the game, and they beat Salinas. Alvarez, the Alvarez Eagles are unbeaten. They win 48-18. Scotts Valley, beaten by King's Academy of Sunnyvale, 28-13. For more high school football, if you missed the scores or you want to get them, check them out again, ksbw.com. We'll be back with more after this.